Data from the FBI showing that violent crime spiked in 2020, including right here in Central Texas. Now, nationally, the number of murders jumped nearly 30% last year. That is the largest single-year increase ever. But we wanted to know about the numbers here locally. 25 News reporter Caleb Chevalier is getting answers. Through the stats reported by the police departments in Waco, Temple, and Colleen, the numbers tell the same story. Crime was on the rise in 2020. Last year's violent crime statistics from the FBI have been released, providing insight into reports from police departments across the country. The data reveals that most of the Metropolitan Police Departments in Central Texas saw an increase in crime. The Robinson Police Department was one of the exceptions. Our officers just being out in the community and knowing the community probably had something to do with it. Robinson Chief of Police Rich Andriucci acknowledges that luck may have also played a part in their department reporting less crime in 2020. That same luck may not have extended to Waco, Temple, and Colleen. Crime rose in all three cities last year, with Colleen nearly doubling their reports from 2019. People just have to um, be patient as all these cities try to kind of figure out what the best way to keep everybody safe is. The numbers are a good reminder that even if you don't feel threatened by your surroundings, it never hurts to take some extra precautions to keep yourself safe. I just don't take chances. I try to park close to the store, and if not, really close underneath lights. Linda Chambers says she appreciates the efforts of local officers to fight crime, and she believes that they may be under a heavy workload. Well, I think they're overwhelmed, just like our health department is right now. Not all types of violent crime have been rising equally. The Waco Police Department says that vehicle theft has been the biggest offender recently, which Andreucci has also seen. Our burglaries of vehicles have been going through the roof lately, and most of that is um, almost always unlocked cars. With 2020 being in the midst of a pandemic, Andreucci says the isolation and stress caused by COVID may have played a role in the uptick in crime, much like what occurs during the holiday season. The Robinson Police Department notes that crime statistics in the area have had an ebb and flow over the past few years and that 2021 may bring a drop in reports for neighboring departments. In Waco, Caleb Chevalier, 25 News.